Hi everyone, today I have a video for you that I've been working on um, pretty much all day, but um, basically I have here some printable planner kits, so I'm not going to go through because it's not a haul, I, I'll go through them at the very end of the video, but I have three shops here that I'm going to be featuring in this video. Um, the first one is Paper Crown Planner. And so these are just some printable kits by her. Make sure they're in the middle. And then also some printable functionals. So I'll go through these at the end of the video. Um, and then the second shop is Sabina Lee's Designs. I, mean, I like to straighten these up. So there's one and two kits by her. From her. I guess we'll buy her too, I guess. <laughs> um... And then the last is Plan for Happy. So here is, and she has some really nice photo kits. Um, and so, yeah. So the video I am showing you today is a how to print digital stickers, or not digital stickers, printable stickers from Etsy. I'm gonna walk you through the entire process from downloading the files, to um, putting it through your machine. This is, again, this is for people who have a silhouette. Um, I had, don't have a Cricut, and I used to hand cut my stickers using this slice tool. So I have this slice tool by, I don't know what that says, um, and I used to take a ruler and just like go one by one, but, um, I think it was for Black Friday or Amazon, that Amazon sale day that um, it was like $99. So I went ahead and bit the bullet and got the silhouette and it's been completely worth it. So if you'd like to watch how to print and cut your own planner stickers, then keep on watching. Okay, so what I'm showing you here are my purchases from three printable shops. The three that I'm featuring today on this tutorial are Paper Crown Planner, Plan for Happy, and Sabina Lace Designs. Those are three of um, the shops that I visit regularly. The most regular that I visit is Sabina Lace Designs, but um, I have purchased a few things from Plan for Happy, but not a full kit so I'm looking forward to seeing that um, and then Paper Crown Planner I have purchased from before and she has these new foil ready bow and heart icons um, just foil ready items so I'm not gonna download everything right now for the sake of saving time but well I actually will off camera and then I'll show you everything once I have it on silhouette um, okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, I want to show you real quick. Um, when you open a file, especially from a shop, or this one's from Sabina Lee's Designs, I just want to go ahead and show you what some shops do and what some shops don't do. So the first thing I get is a little message that says one or more material or action settings used by this document couldn't be found. So everything, this means that everything is set to cut cardstock, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm just going to click OK, and then I go here and I'm missing what's called a registration mark. So it's already there for me, ready to go. And that if it's, for example, if it doesn't show you that, all you have to go is to the page setup panel and to this where this is the registration marks tab. And I'll go ahead and hit type one. Now, I like to make it as small as possible for that. And then also, I'm not using a cameo today, I'm using a portrait. So I go back to my page size tab, which is the first one, or all the way on the left.
and on the cutting mat I just hit portrait and so that'll just show me the whole like how it's gonna look and everything and where it's gonna cut um, you need the registration marks on the pages so that you can see exactly or your printer can cut correctly or your cutter oh can't talk um, but some shops do it automatically for example paper crown planner she does it automatically for you so there's hers hers are automatically done it's ready to go um, but Sabina Lee's designs doesn't I just wanted to tell you that because I have gone through and mass printed a kit or mass printed like different kits that I've purchased and then I don't have the um, cut line or the not the cut lines the registration marks on them and I like I could technically run them back through um, with just a blank document with just registration marks but I don't feel comfortable doing that and sometimes it'll cut correctly without them but other times it won't so I don't like to risk it or play that game um, because that's like money on the line especially with the ink that I'm using um, but yeah I just wanted to come on quickly and show you that all right, so here is everything printing out. Um, I'm just kind of, it's still on like the third page. So I'm just gonna let that go. It will probably take an hour or two just to print because I did set it on the high quality. And then I will be back with you whenever everything is all printed. And then we'll, I'll, sh I'll walk you through my cutting process. So while I'm cutting, I want to go ahead and show you where I get my labels from. This is OnlineLabels.com and all I do is get, um, like you can shop by label size and then I scroll all the way down and go 8.5 by 11 and that's OL177 is the item number as well. Um, and here are the different kinds of papers. So the standard white mat is the one that I've used for today and I'll show you the prices so you can kind of see where you can save money or if you want to splurge on um, different kinds of paper you can. So 100 sheets is $12.95. I usually just go ahead and get $250 for $30. And um, I've also gotten the white gloss inkjet. So the inkjet is $49.95 for 100 sheets, so that is a lot more expensive to get, but it's glossy paper. So that's where you see where shops charge $30 for their kits. It's because, you know, of the glossy paper plus the ink, especially if they're using like premium printers, etc. And then the weatherproof matte inkjet is the soft, buttery, unicorn premium mat that everyone talks about and this is $59.95 for 100 sheets so this one is pretty expensive and um, again as you go down in um, or you go up in quantity the price goes down per sheet so I guess 20,000 sheets would be the cheapest option but it's $7,000 so it is up to you especially for kits I use the standard white mat um, but I also do like the white gloss inkjet um, I have tried purchasing it on Amazon and not from online labels but from a cheaper source and it wasn't very good so yeah that's my little spiel on paper okay sorry if it's choppy every time I open a new file it kept crashing so I, I just want to show you these lifestyle ones so this is like run errands like slash shopping target Michaels this is really why I got it um, planning time like pre-planning working time like computer stuff then we have like girls night, uh, mani pedi, sleep in, like relaxing. I like these pillows too. And then clean brushes. And then we have here like star Starbucks, like coffee things. I have something similar to this in my paper and gumption like sets that I purchased as well. And then like birthday cake. 
I like these little laundry banners. They're cute. And then um, also these like cooking icons. So yeah, that's basically what I have so far. I I want to print this on glossy, but um, it's so much cheaper to print it on matte paper, guys. That's the only thing with it. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and print these too. These I probably won't cut yet because since they all have so many little like nooks and crannies it takes a long time to cut these like for example for my shop the stickers that I have it takes like 20 minutes per page so that's very time consuming and like all these icon sheets they do take a long time and they're really cute but oh my gosh Anyway, all right, so I'm going to sign off here for a second. It'll be like a second for you, but it'll be like hours for me. Um, and I'm probably going to be back later to sh um, with my phone recording to show you how to cut them after they've been printing. All right, we'll see you later. Now I have all my printed kits, and these are printed on just the matte sticker paper I was showing you. And then here is my silhouette portrait. This is the original one. And I have turned it on and plugged it into the computer. And I have the silhouette software open. Um, and then here is my cutting mat. Now, this is like the light hold, but I use a spray adhesive, which I will link below. I just spray it onto the mat before I'm going to use it, especially like after a while it loses its tack so i'm gonna let me see if i can stand you up and kind of face you this way hold on here i am i'm going to align the paper where it says eight and a half by eleven on the mat so there you go right here it says eight and a half by eleven and I'm going to feed it into the machine and I'm going to press the, let me see, this button and speed mat. And then I'm going to go ahead and go back into my software. And for this, I'm going to use the, um, the voiceover screen grab. Hold on. Now I have my paper in the feeder or in the silhouette and I am going to go here to the send button and as you can see some of it is not highlighted so what I'm going to do is go to action and line and then that just fixes it automatically. Now I'm not cutting the blue one just yet and I'm going to go back to material and I'm going to scroll down and go to sticker paper comma white and that, sh that shows me everything that it needs to cut. Usually the um, blade is three. Wait, no, two. It's supposed to be two. Hold on. Let me go here and change that. I probably just have to change it on all of them now since I've skipped it, but yeah, let me go here. Sticker paper white. Yes, so that means the blade thickness has to be on two, and then I'm going to go ahead and click next, and it'll hit start, but before I hit that, I'm going to go pan back to the camera and show you how, I, how to change the blade, like, blade depth I think is the right word okay okay so I want to show you really quickly this is the blade and there are little lines so right now it's set between two and three so it's already ready to go now with the silhouette let me go there it is there's like this little hole thing and so I just want to make sure that it's this is where I can twist the blade and to the depth where 10 is like really out there make sure but then that's gonna cut right through the mat and everything and I don't want that so I'm just gonna put it on two so there's two can barely see it but it's there 
Now my blade's kind of dirty because I was cutting premium matte stickers. But there you can see it kind of sticking out. It's on two. And I'm just going to stick it back in here. Make sure it goes all the way down and then lock it. And then I'm going to go ahead and press start on my computer where I showed you. And here we go. <laughs> As you can see, I don't know if you can, I just turned it off, but it misread the paper. So I don't know if you can, you see where it cut? That is incorrect. So that one, I can either save it and just not use that box, but I'm kind of a perfectionist. So I'm just going to reprint that one. And most of the times with misreading stickers, it's, see, it cut off. Hold on. That might not bother somebody, but it bothers me because it's also crooked. So I'm just going to toss this one. And the fact, the problem was that, um, I don't know, I'm going to show you a little bit. So I have two lamps here, and those have to be really close up, and I forgot to do that. So what I'm going to do is go on to the next page, and I will kind of record this but speed it through and then you'll see some of the cutting. so now that it's done cutting and this one cut perfectly I'm pretty sure I just had it I just didn't have it aligned very well there's some lines here to guide you um, but let me zoom I think I am zoomed out so now I'm just gonna press the return button and take it out I'm gonna be kind of gentle especially with those okay. all right so I'm gonna put that down for it oh no whoops I should not have taken it off because I'm going to go ahead and show you how I cut the other page. So for that, I'm just going to stick it back in there and I'm going to take this blade out again and usually I'll cut all the stickers and then I'll do the, um, then I'll do the outline. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and cut it um to two sides so i'm going to take it to four so now you can see the blade is a little more out i know it's like a tiny difference but oops and i'll go back to the computer and show you all right so now what i'm going to do is go back to action and i'm going to unclick the red so they will disappear and then i'll put the blue one and instead of sticker paper comma white i'll put cardstock adhesive backed and then that will make sure that it cuts all the way through this cardstock so i'll click next make sure it's on four and then i will hit start all right so i'm just gonna hit start here and it has to register again
Okay, so I'm just gonna take that out and what I like to do here is go ahead and peel up the two sheets. So here are your two finished sheets. So what I'm gonna do now is just continue to cut the rest of all of those kits and then I'll be back to show you, um, I guess the final product. And if you're wondering, this is the garbage. So yeah, so I'll be back in a little bit to show you how, how all the kits turn out. All right. Okay, we're at the end of the video and um, I wanna address a couple of things before going through each kit and um, the lifestyle icons that I showed you previously. So, um, the miscut. So I showed you where it miscut and I tossed that. That wasn't the only miscut I had. Um, so sometimes it can be a little frustrating and that's okay. You just either you have to have patience. Another one when it miscut was here. You can see it where it miscut. Um, so that happens. And I did want to show that because I don't know, maybe I haven't seen a lot of other videos of this, but um, you have to make sure that you have plenty of lighting near your silhouette, especially when using registration marks. When you don't have registration marks, you don't need it. But I have two lamps um, facing like really close into the silhouette so that the registration marks will be fine. Another thing is having the silhouette or the paper, the cutting mat lined up right next to the little um, guidance line that the silhouette provides for you. If you have that all good to go, then your sticker should print, I mean, should cut perfectly. Um, yeah, I just wanted to show you that. I'm Before I show you the stickers as well, I'm going to discuss my printer. Um, I had another clip, but it didn't show very well or the sound didn't work on it. It was from when I was using the, the voiceover. But basically, I went to... I don't want to share my printer because it's it's not that I don't want to share it with y'all, but it's something that it was... I had to research and I put time and effort into it. But I will say, if you go to... If you have Cartridge World or something similar, then go to cartridge world or ask someone who knows about printers hey I'm printing photos on matte paper I'm fitting I'm printing photos on glossy paper what do you recommend as far as inkjet printer I will say I have a Canon um, and I that's I guess I'll leave it at that I used to use an HP um, HP is lower quality nowadays but um, I do like my Canon right now and then I have a brother for my laser. So I guess that's all I'm going to disclose about my printer. I just, it's like I feel weird, but it's, I, I get it where people don't want to share. Um, but anyway, I'm going to walk through these stickers. I'm going to tell you kind of what I paid for the stickers so you can see the price comparison of each of these things. So let me just make sure I have everything written down correctly. So the first shop I want to go through is actually Paper Crown Planner. So I'll just put these to the side and I'll go through the three sheets of lifestyle icons. And so we have our like wash or brushes and like makeup stuff. We have our like sleeping in and the little eyelashes. You have the mani pedi, the girls night, the coffee, the cakes, the food and baking, the laundry banners. I've already shown you this on the screen. I just want to show you the difference. Um, your shopping bags, um, the planning time, pre-planning, errands, and like just adulting, I guess. And then office. And I really like this flat lay sticker. It's a circle. That's really cool. So that's that from Paper Crown Planner. And then I want to show you the kits. So the first kit is called, I think it's called Love Your Journey. Um, 
but it's this beautiful watercolor with marble, black and white, um, and purple. So here are the full boxes. So let me tell you just how many pages comes with, with these kits. One, two, three, four. I think this one comes with six. Yeah, this one comes with six pages, so it is a full kit. Here's, I'll just show you a little bit of what it has. You have your headers, half boxes, habit trackers, bildus, some more icons. I love this bottom washi. Watercolor is one of my favorite mediums. And then your washi, and then you even get your date, I guess squares, and then your date, um, your date covers, hydration trackers, and your um, weekly box and marble heart boxes, heart checklists. <laughs> Um, so yeah, this one has six pages. I think the other two have eight, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just count really quickly. Unless they have more. Four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So these have eight. So here are your full boxes. This one seems to be very similar or... Maybe you get more stuff here because I see more checklists. And then I love this weekend banner. This page is the same. This page is the same. Again, the bottom washi is beautiful. This page looks very similar. I don't feel like going through and looking at every single difference. But this is the extra page. So you have some deco and um, work labels, extra sheets for skin tones, and your glitter sampler. I'm not a huge fan of this glitter sampler, but at the same time, I'm like, glitter? <laughs> Who knows if I'll use it. And then this one, so I'll go through this one real quick. Full boxes. Here is your like text and checklist. I love this bottom, like, she kills it with the bottom washi. And even the date covers are really pretty. Well, this whole kit's really pretty. So, she also has an option of, like, different skin tones. So, this is the one, like, the automatic one, I guess, um, that comes with the kit. And I do like the this texture on, the, on these colors. Um, but then she has this one, and it has the three boxes with um the darker skin tone which I'm yeah I guess I'm not that dark but I'm a little bit I guess I have two glitter headers now <laughs> because of that so yeah that is that that's paper crown planner now paper crown planner um the total for this including those foil ready sheets that I did not print I think I got two I have the like the icons and the the icons and the, um, what is it? The date covers. And that comes with a lot. And that total, before any discounts, was $14. And because they these were all $2 a kit, I think this one was $3, but all the other ones were $2. These are usually $4 in a shop, but she had a weekend sale or something. Um, and then this one was $3. But, and the the foil ready stuff was $3, I think. I'm not sure, but total I paid like $12.60 because she also has um, an Instagram discount. So go check her out on Instagram and follow her for sales and um, discounts and stuff. So I got three kits, a bunch of icons, foil ready items. All for twelve sixty. Yes, I do have to pay for my own paper and my own ink, but for me, it's more cost effective and budget friendly to invest in the paper and the um, the ink, especially because there are a lot of shops that use this popular um, clip art that I want, but at a price that I can like that I can afford because. I do splurge and get some of the more premium kits, like from Scribble Prints Go or Nicole, Nicole Alexia Designs, etc. Like, I do get 
I do support those printed shops, but it's good to support the printable shops too, especially if you have the resources to make your own stickers. So the second shop that I want to talk about is Plan for Happy. So these are the photo kits. Now Plan for Happy, I love the photo kits. This one is called, I think like, I forgot, something about girl. Um, but here is the first page, these full boxes. It's kind of like a working girl, girl boss, I guess, kind of thing, but I like it. Um, and then you get two weekend banners and the half boxes and appointment labels and stitched labels. These are three heart checklists and then your, I think these are hydration trackers, but it's like a box. And then you get four habit trackers, a bunch of icons, two weekly boxes. This one would be good to like spread over two weeks, honestly, or two planners and just print an extra one of these. And that's the other thing about printable kits. As long as you're just using it for yourself, you're, you can print as many as you like. Your ombre heart checklist. I'm not a fan of her hearts. They're kind of, I don't know. They're kind of weird, but I mean, they're cute. It's just, I do like all her text though. An adulting award. That is so cute. Here's your bottom washi, um, super nice, and then your glitter headers, and then your bow headers, and your glitter sampler. So there's that. And then the second one is this one, I think it's called Little Things. And so you, it's again like a working kind of thing. It's cute. Um, but here are your weekend banners. Here is this page, get to movie marquees, little things, headers, ombre heart checklist, word art, the bottom washi, so pretty, glitter sampler, and glitter headers. So that is everything from Plan for Happy. Now Plan for Happy, these are $3.50 each. And she has PR girls, so find her PR girls either on Instagram or go find her Facebook group, and you can get 30% off. So both of these kits cost me $4.90 together. So for less than $5, I got two kits. And then the last shop that I'm going to show you that I featured on this video is... Sabina Lee's Designs. Now, Sabina Lee's Designs um, is one of the more, I guess, premium of the printable kits. She stays on trend with the clip art. Um, she produces the clip the kits very rapidly. And, um, I don't know, she kind of keeps up to date with, like, comparably to more luxury printed shops. So, here is the first page this one's called picnic here's her second page so this one comes with 10 pages I think I didn't tell you how much the plan for happy but I'm pretty sure it's 10 as well one let me count real quick yeah it's 10 so here is this page with deco and some other stuff glitter sampler bottom washi and printed or yeah printed washi we have your date covers date dots weekly stuff your checklists your more checklists <laughs> um half boxes quarter boxes and um headers and icons and then your little things and your your labels so that's Picnic, and then the second kit is called Namaste, which I don't know if I'm really into that, <laughs> but I do like the colors. I, I mean, I'm into this. I'm not into maybe Namaste. I like Namaste in bed, but anyway, um, I love these full boxes. Um, here's the second page, glitter sampler, loving the muted colors.
Here's this. This is very similar to Scribble Prints Go layout. <laughs> Just saying. And she did switch it up like right around the same time that SPC did. So, yeah. So those are the kits. And then Sabina Lee's designs. Um, these are a little pricier. This These are $4.50 per kit. But she had a 25% off, like, just because a few weeks ago. So for both of the kits, I paid $6.74. So I made that total, I think it was, like, $24.60 or something was my total for all of the kits, which is one, two, three... four, five, six, seven. So seven kits and a bunch of, um, of functional items for less than one full printed kit. Granted, I did use a lot of my paper, but since I chose matte paper, I chose my paper, I chose my ink. I know what I pay for that and it's definitely worth it sometimes for me to get this. Now, I still support printed shops. I love printed shops. Um, I'm a member of SPC's Mystery, and I do order from her regularly, as well as other printed shops. Um, and, like, my favorite shop is the Crafty Banana. There's, like, no hiding it. But um, I think if you're on a budget, then this can be something that you can do for yourself and it's just a way for you to participate even if you don't have $30 a week to spend so on a kit because it, it can be pretty pricey so anyway I hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and I will catch you in my next video bye